Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I'm working today with Art Impressions Pop-Up Bunny to make a pop-up card for our Funny Friday edition. The stamp and die set comes with the main bunny image and this is intended to go onto the inside of your card. It has a special die and the die cuts the outside of the bunny image and then it has interior embossing lines that helps fold this up so the card will sit flat while folded. I'll be using the fine detailed egg hunt stencil and I'm also using pixie spray to hold this in place. Pixie spray is a temporary spray adhesive and you can spray it on the back of your stencil to hold it in place. I'm working on a 120 pound cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and I'll also be using one of the circle masks also from Simon Says Stamp to create a circle image. I've laid both the stencils in the center of my cardstock and I am securing the circle stencil with a little bit of purple tape. I'm using a blending brush and picked raspberry along with Kitsch Flamingo to create a really nice image inside the circle stencil. And once I'm done stenciling, I'll use my scoreboard and bone folder and I'll be creasing this down the center of the cardstock. I wanted to note that I did this all on flat paper so that I wouldn't have a crease in the center to where I would have heavier ink. So once that's scored, I can fold that in half and then crease it again with my bone folder. Next, I have stamped the bunny onto 80 pound Nina White cardstock. I want a thinner paper so that it'll fold easily. I've used the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And I'll be cutting this out with the coordinating die using a little purple tape to hold it in place. For my coloring, I'm using Copic markers and I'm using the warm gray tones. So here I'm adding in W1, which is a really light color, and then going in with W2 around the edges to blend those together. And around some of the outer edges, I'm using W4 for a little bit more shadow. And then I can go back in with W2 once again and blend that out. I'll do the same process with the top part of the bunny, making sure that I get some really nice light blending towards the center of the face. For the ears, the feet, and the hands of the bunny, I'm using R83 for my lighter color, and then I'm going back in and edging it a little bit with R85. And finally, I'm coloring the bunny's jacket with BG72 and BG75. I've created a panel for the front of my card and I have cut a circle in the center. I've also embossed the egg hunt stencil using the Sizzix Impressions pad. I'm not sure if you can see the pattern. And then I've also backed this with some cardstock and also an Easter sentiment strip. I've also stamped and cut out just a bunny head and I'll be placing this inside the circle so it'll have a fun little bunny on the front side. And I'm using a little bit of foam tape to place this right at the bottom of that circle. I'm adding some adhesive to the front of the card so that I can place a panel of doodle debug paper right over to cover the entire card. And now for the most important part of the card, I'll be working with the bunny. I like to fold my papers back and forth, so I'm going to start with the center line down the front of the bunny. And I like to go with the biggest folds first, so the second fold will be the feet that come up. And next I'm going to pinch and fold the side up and you can crease these with your bone folder. I like to go back and forth on my paper to kind of break the fibers of the paper. So I'll do the same to the other side and make sure I get a good pinch. So now he's ready to assemble and put into my card. But first I want to add a sentiment message just to the inside and this will sit under the bunny. So I've used some Simon Says Stamp glue just onto the back. I want this to sit nice and flat and I'll run this all the way from the side of the card towards the center. And if you need to, you can use a T-square to make sure that you have this lined up. And now I'm ready to glue my bunny in place and I'm adding glue just to the bottom portion of the feet below any of the other folds. And by using my center crease line as a guide, I'll put that right in the center of the bunny's legs and then before I press this down to get it adhered, I want to make sure that the top of the head with the crease matches up to the crease of the card. I've die cut a little heart from the bunny pop-up set and I've just used a little bit of glue on the corner and I'm going to adhere it to the left hand. You can place any of the flowers or other items from 
the stamp and die set into your card as long as it doesn't interfere with the folding mechanism. And finally, I used a little bit of foam tape to add that panel to the front of the card. And when I open the card, the bunny unfolds and pops up. Here's a look at the finished card with my bunny head hopping by to say on an embossed panel using the egg hunt stencil. And then once the card is opened, I have the adorable bunny almost looking like it's giving you a hug. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the Art Impressions pop-up bunny. Be sure to check our blog post linked below for additional information. And as always, thanks so much for watching.